Okay, for the reason I hope I call this my childhood and start with the song. I have no wisdom of my own. I have no wisdom of my own. Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Help me, I have no wisdom of my own. We need wisdom, we need to be able to read between the lines. Particularly when the mother tells you, if my child misbehaves, just discipline him on my behalf. My friend, do not take that literally, it's just figurative. And there's something very similar to, to this in scripture. Uh, Adonijah who was another brother to the sitting king. The king had just taken the throne, made the request to the mother, listen to the request. And the mother went to relay this to Solomon. Uh, first king, chapter 2, verse 21. So she said, that Abishag, the Shunammite, they given to Adonijah, the brother's wife. And King Solomon answered and said to his mother, Now, why do you ask Abishag, the Shunammite, for Adonijah? Ask for him, the kingdom also. For he's my older brother, for him, and for Abiata, the priest, and for Jack, the son of Yeruah. Then King Solomon saw by the Lord saying, May God do so to me and more also, if Adonijah has not spoken his word against his own life. Now, therefore, as the Lord be, who has confirmed me and set me on the throne of, my, of David, my father, and who has established a house for me as a promise, Adonijah shall be put to death today. So King Solomon sent by the hand of Benaiah, the son of Jeroiada, and struck him down and he died. So, I mean, this person is a widow, Abishag is a widow, uh, David's wife, and then you are not king, you want to inherit a widow. You know, you need to be able to, one has to be sensitive to some of these things, and that's actually what caused him his life. So anytime a woman tells you, if my child misbehaves, discipline him on my behalf, do not take it literal. 